Hi, welcome to my new series of videos in which I'll try to transfer my vast knowledge of electronics to you, want it or not. Why am I doing this? Because I'm tired of hearing you guys say, <laughs> I don't have a clue what this guy is saying, I'm just here for the hurting. <laughs> not anymore. You will watch this series and you will see beyond the hurting. You can potentially design your own circuits too. So let's start all the way from the beginning. This is my version of story of creation which I'll draw on a whiteboard. Although it would work better on a blackboard, but I'll just invert the colors. There. Let's go. At the beginning, there was nothing. No time, no space. No up nor down. Nothing. Void was all there was. But how can there be nothing if nothing can be? If nothing is here, maybe something is there. So this caused a crack in the heart of, well, nothing. And she came out of it, from there to here. I name her Donia, which in Farsi means the world or universe. Donia existed forever, because forever was meaningless. Time was not yet in existence. Donia was infinite, because, well, there was nothing else. Donia was also infinitely small, because there was only room to grow. Donia had a strong will to be, the outcome of nothing, the child of void. Donia was anything but the void. So she wished to be more. She was this smallest seed that started the greatest motion in universe. She set a universe into motion. Day 1. In a fraction of a second, Donia expanded into an extremely hot and bright universe. Everything came into existence inside of her. Rules, laws, matter, antimatter, everything no matter if they could or could not be. So of course, this wasn't a success story. Many rules collided, laws contradicted. Imagine one was saying gravity would attract, while the other was saying it should repel. So they met and cancelled each other. Matter and antimatter collided and collapsed. Most of what was went to their dark past, biting their time to show up again when the moment was right. Out of this war to be, it was the matter that remained. Why? Because if this is matter and this is antimatter, they cancelled most of each other and turned into huge energy. But luckily, matter was just this much more than antimatter, and that built our current cosmos. And as we figure, four forces rose from the ashes of the war to rule the universe. First, the strong nuclear force that as the universe cooled down brought together the nucleus or core of the atoms. Second, the electromagnetic force was brought into life by the birth of electrons and protons. These two were charged by this magical force that we call electric force where opposites attract. While the atom core of equal protons and neutrons were held together by strong nuclear force, electrons rotate around the proton-rich nucleus to form atoms. Well, not in such perfect orbits, but rather a cloud of probability. Electron could be anywhere in this cloud, but more likely in this area. But why doesn't electron just drop on proton and stop moving, you say? Because quantum physics, bitch. And this is the beginning of our journey into electronics. The electron was born. Third force was the weak nuclear force, decaying the atom core particles. If particles were too big and unstable, they started breaking down, decaying and radiating all sort of alpha, beta or gamma rays. 
And finally, the fourth was the force of gravity, which bonded all matter together in a revolving dance of planets and suns and black holes. Dunya expanded into an entire universe in just under a second. The first day of creation ended in merely a second. She was pleased. In just a second, she paved the path for everything else to exist. Black holes, galaxies, solar systems, Earth, life. Well, Donya is still getting larger and larger, expanding into nothing. But how can you expand into nothing? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Wow, that was deep. And it took forever to make. Of course, for the most part, it was based on scientific theories. I just filled in some scientific holes with my own imaginary theories. Who knows, they might be true. Just one request. Please don't turn this into a religion and start worshipping the magnificent Unibra. Although, I prefer it over the flying spaghetti monster. Hmm, maybe I should start printing some stickers. Now, electronics can be quite complicated, like quantum physics. What happens at quantum physics level can be so strange and random that you can pretty much blame anything on it. Like when your girlfriend says, you went to the store and bought everything except the one thing I asked you to buy? Why? <laughs> quantum physics, So personally, for me to deal with it is to keep a simple mind about it. And I think that mentality could be helpful to many of you trying to understand electronics. Of course, there are a lot of good people on the web that teach electronics in their own style, and every style helps a different mind. So if you like my style, subscribe, get this video to the front page by liking it, and look for the new episodes between my regular stuff. And I'll see you later!